I just got in from a date. It's Saturday night. I just got in from a date. There's Richard Lawson, y'all. I swear this man was in Kroger tonight and he had on the bucket hat, okay? That I have an interview with Delta. I'm supposed to be going on a date tonight. New guy. A new guy has entered the chat. He will not get another day for a while. He better show me a good, a great time. Oocha. I am tired, y'all. Okay, so I am back home. I've been back home for two days. Um. I just got in from a date. It's Saturday night. I just got in from a date uh, with the same guy who I went to the Painted Duck with. Um, we went to this, uh, it's like a celebration of hip hop. Uh, the 50th anniversary of hip hop was recently. So it was like a celebration of hip hop. Uh, a few pioneers in Atlanta's hip hop community. It was super cute. Oh, excuse me. I took my camera with every intent on taking y'all because I went right after work. So I had my camera with me. Um, but then, like, I was going to get there late. So I told him to just go on without me because there was like a little traffic. Um, and then I. I put my bag. I wasn't sure how the park, parking was going to be. Um, we had free parking with our VIP tickets. But I wasn't sure if it was like going to be a garage. Or, you know, if it wasn't, you know, like a secure area. So, I put my bag in my trunk before I got there. Um, like, my work bag. I didn't bring an extra purse or anything to carry my camera. And I really didn't want to, like, take my work bag in. It's a little childish. Um, it's just like a little backpack. It's just, yeah, it's just like a little backpack that I throw everything in. Um, so I didn't want to take that in. And I just put like my keys, my phone, and my little car wallet in my pockets or whatever. Um, so that's why I wasn't able to take y'all in. And I think y'all would have really enjoyed it. It was very neat. A very neat installation. Very creative. It was just like storytelling that's basically what it is storytelling about hip-hop super cool um and then we went to real tacos in midtown that's my first time there he likes the location oh thank you i don't know where the other location is but it's not in midtown so we went to the midtown location because it was nearest us um I have another date idea for us the week after next, but I think we're going to try to see each other next week also, especially since we live so close. Um, but yeah, you guys, so everything's going good. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are having a great month so far. I believe it's the 10th. I am tired. I will not pass go. I will not collect $200. I am about to get in bed. I'm not about to watch TV. No, nothing. Because y'all. <sighs> I still need to catch up on sleep. I've been home for two days. Um, and have gotten like this much of rest. So. I still want to catch up on sleep. Uh, so I will talk to y'all. I'll probably talk to y'all on Monday. My uncle has a listening party. So if I go to that, I'll talk to y'all on Monday. I probably won't take y'all with me just because it is like family and everything. Ain't nobody want on camera and they Like, hey girl, ain't nobody want on camera and they Um, so I plan to go to that on Monday to a listening party. I don't really have anything else planned for next week. 
because like I said, I have those date plans uh, for us for the week after next. Um, so I think we might do something like super light, like go to one of the bars or um, we both enjoy ramen. So we might go to Jinnia or something like super quick light or something before like our next like day activity. Um, but I'm really trying to... Oh, excuse me. Stay like low key for doing. Like I'm not really trying to do too much. Um, but yeah, so good night. Oh, nice noches. Hasta la vista. Okay. So I don't want to keep y'all. But just like quick little life updates or whatever. So I just left Kroger. Super sidebar. <laughs> Is that a good angle? So I just left Kroger and I swear, I don't know if it was him or somebody that really looks like him, but I really think it was him. But I'm trying to find maybe another actor that looks like him. But I really think I just saw Richard Lawson and Grover. Yeah, I swear I it has to be him. It has to be him. For those of you who don't know who Richard Lawson is, it's Beyonce's stepfather it's mama tina's husband who is an actor y'all i swear and y'all know everybody okay we're gonna wait let's cover up my face there we go there's richard lawson y'all i swear this man was in kroger tonight and he had on the bucket hat okay all right either let me Google actors that look like Richard Lawson. Because, but I, but it's really telling me it's him. But this man, I mean, I don't know how Richard Lawson looks right now as far as his weight. But this man, he was tall. Y'all can't tell me it was him. And he was a little fuller. Okay, a little fluffier. And Richard has been fluffy you know in his stages of life but i don't know if he's like on the slimmer side like mama tina because baby they got fountains of youth over there let me see how richard looking right now and y'all know about every celebrity and their sister brother cousin has a house in atlanta let's be real oh no from this profile picture it looks like he's on a slimmer side right now okay so back to google actors that look like richard lawson because he was somebody that i didn't seen before Cause see, let me show y'all Richard Lawson when he was a uh, fluffy. Look at fluffy Richard. But that man definitely wasn't that heavy. He was just, you know, a little thick. So he definitely wasn't that heavy. But that man looked like. Let me bring up a Richard picture that he looks like. With his little salt and pepper beard. Because a lot of these pictures that are coming up with Richard. See, look at him with Jackie Harris. You ain't gonna tell me that was what I mean. A lot of the pictures with uh, Richard Lawson is when he got no beard. Because this is how it happened, right y'all? So... I'm minding my business grocery shopping. Um, and so I was circling back past the produce 
which is one of the doors is near the entrance and a guy was coming through the door now i usually don't directly look at people because funny story the same type of passing happened in a different kroger because i have a, fru a, a few krogers that are frequent at a different kroger's i was headed towards the door because i was headed to work so I just be minding my business. I don't be paying, you know, attention to people unless they trying to get my attention. Um, yeah, so I'm minding my business walking out the door. And I knew, like, out my peripheral that somebody was looking at me. <laughs> and so the guy hit me on the back of my heels with their freaking buggy. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Y'all, it was my daddy. I turned around and it was my daddy, okay? So I just be minding my business in Kroger. So, you know, I'm coming this way. The guy is coming this way. So we're going, going, going. And it's like, we're kind of like at the same pace, but it's like somebody is gonna have to go in front. So I'm like, okay, he clearly isn't a gentleman. He's not about to let me go in front. So I stopped and I looked at him. He was like, you go ahead. I said, thank you. Y'all, it was Mr. Lawson. Period. That was him. Let me see if he got a house in Atlanta. Let's see right now. Because I see random um, celebrities in grocery stores all the time. Um, well, I don't know. Because there ain't nothing coming up about him having a house in Atlanta. But anywho, y'all. In other news. So, update on um, Delta, okay? So, remember, I was telling y'all about the lady um, when I was at work minding my business doing my job and she we exchanged information uh she works for delta she thinks i'll be a flight attendant her and plenty of other people because i get it all the time so um to piggyback off of that my mom's best friend works for delta and she was just telling us you know how they're mass hiring again how delta likes to do and i was like you know what I'm sick and tired of applying to Delta, you know, and not getting a job. Cause my very first time applying to Delta, I was in my early twenties. I was about to graduate with my associate's degree. They were mass hiring. So I was like, okay, um, you know, I can apply. If I get the job, I'll do this for a couple of years. I'll go back to school and get my bachelor's. If I don't, I'll continue my education. So, you know, I continued my education. And, you know, now we meet Miss C a couple of months ago. Now my mom's best friend is talking about it. And she can actually give me, you know, a referral in their system, as could Miss C, but she knew people personally. So she was like, listen, send me this, boom, boom, bam. I'm going to send it here. I know this person. I know her. I'll make some phone calls. She's very much that person. So when I was just in the airport recently, I reached out to her just to say hello because I was in the airport and it made me think of her. Um, haven't heard anything back from her yet. I don't take things like that personal. Um, so I applied for a Delta. And you know, if you apply for delta you kind of get like a second email pretty quickly um and they tell you to take the assessment so i let a few days go by because i'm still you know like unsure or whatever i'm like you know what this keeps coming up like from different random people strangers i was like just let me see it through one more time okay i'm like just let me finish this application process just i'm um, gonna see it through so i did the assessment a couple of days ago um 
Y'all, I kid you not, the same day, because I did it in the morning before work, the same day I went to work, one of my coworkers came up to me and she was like, you ever thought about being a flight attendant? And I just looked at her, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Do you know what? And I told her, you know, everything that's been happening and reoccurring, I said, I just did that assessment this morning. Like, this is crazy. So, I just wanted to keep y'all updated on that. Just because all of these little coincidences always happen in my life. Um, yeah, I just think it's so... It's kind of magical in a way, you know? I was going to say weird or, you know, but... You know, I want to tell y'all in case, like, I get the job or something. And then, like, you, y'all can see, like, how it played out. Because things always play out like this, you know, for me. Different situations. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm just about to make dinner. Um, I posted a vlog a couple of days ago. The numbers are doing really well, so it makes me want to get up another one sooner because it's going to be part two of Savannah. Um, so I really wanted to edit some of that tonight. I still may start editing it tonight to have up in a couple of days. Because I haven't posted it in like a month since this vlog I don't know why West Palm part 2 just really didn't get that amount of views it got like a fourth of what part 1 did that's so weird the Savannah vlog is at the same amount of views as the second part of West Palm and that was a month ago and I posted savannah two days ago so that's why i say that it's doing pretty decent numbers for it to be at the same number of views as a vlog i posted a month ago so i'm trying to stay consistent you know to just keep y'all engaged and interested you know so yeah you guys i really don't have anything coming up um Y'all know I'm out here dating. I'm still seeing the same guy. Um, we saw each other a couple of days ago at like a little park in the neighborhood because he lives fairly close. Um, I'm still, you know, kind of keeping my options open. and But yeah, so I'm just about to make dinner. I think I'm going to an event with the girls on Saturday. If so, I'll take y'all. But that's about it. Um, I haven't been picking up the camera a lot lately because I am trying to get the vlogs out that I am making so we can be up to date. Um, and also, you know, just trying to make career moves is what I'm doing, y'all. Um, but yeah, so I will keep y'all updated, lovelies. I hope you all are having a great month. And yeah, can I... Uh, the stadium we went to is called hey, Nacional de Costa. My apologies, we keep meeting like this on the couch. Um, but I forgot. Oh my gosh, y'all! Like my eye was swollen for a few days. Um, I think it was just like gland in my eye. You can actually kind of see it from here because it is a little bulge, just like it has a glare. But my eye like was swollen for a few days. Um, it happened once before in high school, but I actually had to get it laced. And they had to like go in um, and like cut whatever it is out. So my mom and I was hoping that it wasn't that. So now I'm just like super extra um, precautious like about my eyes. Like I haven't been wearing eye makeup. I have on mascara now. <sighs> Because the guy that I've been dating, it was his birthday yesterday, so we went out last night. Um, 
So this is mascara residue from last night. That's why we're twinkling a little bit. Um, Chloe, my sister, and I, uh, there's a new snooze um, eatery, AM eatery, that's opening in Alpharetta. So they were feeding everyone for free for three days from Friday to Sunday. Today is now Sunday. And so for online orders, you could do $50, like they give you $50 towards an order. That wasn't working for me. Um, or you can RSVP for, RSVP for reservations. Um, but yeah, so we went there and y'all, I had a time this weekend, who am I? I'm just like, I'm mad that I didn't document it, but it was like either spur of the moment or like rushing or like something, something. And I just didn't like have my camera. Like I meant to take y'all last night because we went to Moustache last night and Moustache, you know, it's a cute little vibe. Um, our, our waitress was really nice. Her name is Ariana. Um, but yeah, so that was cute. We had a nice time. The hookah was decent. I had a drink and a shot. Um, he had like double that, you know, being that it was his birthday. Um, I went out with the girls. Um, we went to a new lounge on Buford Highway. Y'all, everything was free. I'm gonna have to insert clips for y'all. Um... I have to go to my story and save the images uh, from my story from Mustache. And then um, I'll try to put those on here somehow. But I'll have to insert clips from... I mean, I can show y'all now. Insert clips. It's not really going to do it justice. From the club with the girls. I had so much fun. They really <laughs> bought me out of my element. Because if you've ever been out with me. You know I'm just sitting cute in the corner honey. Um, but yeah it was so much fun. I haven't been out like that in a long time. But the real reason I came on here y'all. Was to tell y'all. That I have an interview with Delta. Um, over the past couple of weeks, just because from, uh, some of the parts of the interview process from the time I've gotten the email, like to finish assessments and tests and, uh, virtual interviews and things like that, you know, it was like a day or two. Um, so I did the virtual interview, um, like Wednesday, like Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I just got the email on Friday that they wanted to schedule an in-person interview. So now here I am on Sunday. Um, I confirmed that and it's in a couple of weeks. So I just wanted to keep you all updated on the process and you know, opening that email and scheduling that interview, you know, they give you like all of these videos to look at. Oh my goodness, this is gonna like <clears throat> send me. Um, you know, they give you like videos to look at and you know, there's like a few flight attendants talking about their experience, talking about compensation and you know, random things. And that all came up on YouTube. So it kind of sent me down a rabbit hole of flight attendant videos. So right now I'm watching this gorgeous young lady. Her name is Maya. Her page is called Maya on the Move. And she is a new flight attendant with um, American. Um, and I'm watching. This is the second vlog of hers I'm watching. And the first vlog was actually like her first trip and it was like a three-day trip and everything um but yeah you guys so i will continue to keep you all updated on this process i haven't told anyone 
like my mom knew I was applying because her best friend put in a reference for me. I haven't even told the lady that came in my job and she was like, you should be a flight attendant. Um, I haven't even told her, but I'm going to reach out to her tomorrow. Um, just to let her know that, hey, I applied and I got an interview. Um, but I haven't, um, like told my mom, I haven't told my sister, I haven't told anybody that I have this in-person interview, but you all, and I think I'm going to keep it that way because with things like this, you know, it's like, what if I don't get the job? So, you know, when you tell people things like this, you know, they're asking like, oh, like, ha have you had it yet? How's it go? And if I don't get it, then, you know, I have to say like, oh, well, I didn't get it and things like that. So I'm just keeping it to myself for now. Not really sure when's the next time I'm going to see y'all because I, doesn't, I don't have much coming up. Um, and I'm also putting out vlogs of material that I have here on my memory card. So that's why I'm intentionally trying not to vlog so much. Um, because I'm trying to catch us up on present day. Um, but yeah, you guys, so hopefully I'll see y'all soon. But if not, I hope you lovelies are doing amazing and stay safe and take care. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, it's me again on the couch. <laughs> my camera lives like right here on my coffee table pretty much. Um, so that's why when I think of things or want to update y'all on things, I just pick it up and that's what I do so I'm supposed to be going on a date tonight new guy a new guy has entered the chat um but it's so strange cuz we text a few days ago and he didn't respond for like a whole 24 hours you know it was just like casual conversations casual conversation just like still like getting to know one another type of questions and we already had established that okay let's do Saturday evening and then this is like Thursday and he didn't respond to Friday night saying hey how's seven o'clock for Saturday how's this place I was like, well, you kind of stopped texting me and I didn't hear from you. So I assumed we weren't going. But yes, I'm still open to go. So today is Saturday. We were texting last night. And it was pretty late, y'all. It was pretty late. Like he texted me like after 10. Because looking at the text thread, the receipts, I think I fell asleep like after 11 before midnight. So like you were texting me then. So, so you weren't texting me like the next morning and throughout the day like you're literally responding to me like the next night like late at night like bedtime <laughs> it's giving uh, mm. so then i text him like hey how's the parking at this location because he wanted to come pick me up and on the first day you're not knowing where I live um so I was asking him how was the parking at this particular restaurant because I know the area and the parking lots are small over there for the businesses so I was thinking that I was just like meet him like up the street and just like park my car you know like in a safe place of like one of the stores and then we can ride together from there if like the parking is crazy and plus it's a Saturday night and y'all we are going on my Miami circle and if you're familiar with like all of the business over there you know like how small that street is but anywho so I text him a couple of hours ago asking him about that and he hasn't texted me back yet so if I don't hear from him you know what I just might call him we haven't like talked on the phone yet so I honestly just might call him because like these are weird vibes and I'm gonna give you the juices um but yeah so catching up on the Kardashians 
and then I'm gonna start editing another video to hopefully go live um tomorrow and next weekend <laughs> It's Stefan's birthday and we're hanging out. I was trying to decide if I was going to tell y'all or not. Um, but I may vlog that day. But yeah, I don't know. Y'all know life be life and life is weird. And God's plans aren't our plans. So, talk to y'all later. I'll keep y'all updated on this weird date situation. And yes, I am still talking to the other guy. Um... That I have been dating, you know. Um, actually, I just took Chloe to the park today, and I told y'all like he lives near me, and I actually saw him walking because he he goes for runs outside. Like he's he's a real like fitness person, and so he goes for runs outside. So I thought he was like exercise. I was like, oh, he's taking a new route. I'm like, oh, he look good. Um. <laughs> So I text him and we were already, I'm so tickled, and we were already like texting. I was like, I just saw you. Like, I'm taking Chloe to the park. Like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, you look good. Um, <laughs> But he was getting his car wash and he just decided to take a walk. So I saw him in the middle of his walk. But anywho, later gators. <laughs> Okay, this is very shortly after, like not even five minutes. So he just texts me back saying, Hey, good afternoon. How you doing? Yeah, the restaurant is pretty busy, but it has a big parking lot. I'm still gonna, uh, that means I really have to wash my hair. Because I was just like trying to see like what the vibes are, if this was really happening. So I've just been sitting here kind of procrastinating on washing my hair. And that's at least like a two hour ordeal. It's 2.42. So I guess I'm going to start soon. Probably at three. Yeah, I have five minutes of the Kardashians left. Wash my hair. Um, I'm going to look up this place's Instagram just to see what the vibes are. So I can know how to dress. Because given the restaurant and like the vibes from the menu and the restaurant it gives. I can kind of be like cute casual. <clears throat> yeah, it's getting cute casual. We're going to Eclipse de Luna. Um, but yeah, y'all, I bought this really cute dress today from Express, and I think I'm gonna wear it next weekend, um, while hanging out with Stefan for his birthday. And yeah, like, y'all know it's been raining, like, all week here, or maybe you don't know, because this vlog is gonna be so behind. Um, uh, but yes, it's been raining all week, it's July 1st, happy first of the month. It's July 1st, and we have been getting a lot of rain. And y'all know, like, wearing, like, my natural hair, my natural curls and everything, it's, like, frizzing and um, all the humidity. So, I've just been wearing my hair in either a top bun or a low bun. Um, I want to get it braided soon, but I have my Delta interview in less than two weeks. Um, but, I mean, I don't want to go on a first date like this. Like, even if it, whatever, first impressions are lasting that long. Um, so I'm gonna check back in one y'all if I'm cute, but I'll definitely take y'all in the car, maybe show y'all the restaurant. See, he is it, it's so crazy how you can like feel people's energy through the phone because his energy is completely different from the guy that I'm like dating. Um, he's like a little more high energy, a little more playful. And like when we met, he was like out like, like the whole weekend, like the weekend I, last weekend, I think <clears throat> when I went out with the girls, he too was out to like 3 a.m. So I can tell he's very high energy. Um, so I think I'm bringing y'all with me. Okay. So I'll see you later. 
Okay, you guys, so it's 4.08 <clears throat> and I'm washing my hair. Not sure what this angle is gonna give, but uh, fudge, I gotta hold it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm conditioning now and <clears throat> it's a little after four o'clock. So the plan is to at least be straightening my hair by five um because we're meeting at seven but he texted me back and he said that um he went out last night and i told y'all <clears throat> that he said he had a long weekend like last weekend so he be outside is <laughs> basically what i'm getting is he be outside and i can tell he likes to have a good time <clears throat> Because this is the second time he's asked me if I like reggae. Um, I'm like, yeah, reggae's okay, but I love Afro beats and soca. Um, but anywho, so just wanted to update you guys. Um, but yeah, so I think as of now, I'm gonna wear <clears throat> that blue knit michael kors dress that's in my spring lookbook video like i saw it and just giving his energy and just giving like what i saw on the instagram of eclipse de luna like i think i'm gonna go with those vibes i mean it more so depends on how i feel in the dress because i want to feel comfortable because if i feel comfortable and confident that's gonna exude and relay everywhere else so um if i feel comfortable and confident in that for tonight then we're gonna go with that because y'all i be having all these clothes and stuff and i rarely go places so they really just be sitting like on my garment rack or in my closet like with tags and stuff for a while so i really want to get out of that or i was thinking about just throwing on like one of my rainbow dresses um but it's like no like where are your other clothes that you have so maybe i'll do that with like a heeled um sandal i'm thinking maybe my uh my steve madden clear aaron sandal um but i bought that dress in mine just to go with, like my michael kors sneakers um <clears throat> so that's that you guys but yeah so it's 4 11 I'll give this conditioner 10 more minutes and straight after the wash, we're blow drying and um, pressing. This is Oxy conditioner. You guys look at my curl pattern. It's still um, pretty much intact, especially in the back. Uh, in the front, um, you can see it's way looser. The front always gets a little more heat with the press. And my curl pattern is very loose. Um, over the past couple of years, it's gotten um, loose. Because, like, my hair started falling out. And um, <clears throat> it, it's just been a time. But, yeah, you guys. So, let this conditioner sit another 10 minutes. And then we will continue to get ready. Okay, y'all, so it's 4.59, and I just, 5 o'clock, I finished my blow dry on time. Um, so I just plugged up my flat iron, and I'm pretty sure I can get done with my hair in less than an hour, and then it's straight in the shower because I'm meeting him at 7. Um, but yeah, so we will press her curl her up and I'll see y'all once I'm ready <sighs> okay beautiful people <clears throat> I am headed there this is how my hair came out only for it to be raining I knew me doing my hair was gonna be a little in vain 
just because of the weather. Um, at least my scalp is clean. I'm just looking at it that way because we're getting rain majority of the week next week. Like five out of the seven days. So most likely my hair is going to go back in a bun. But we did a pretty good job. Let me try and zoom. There we go. Y'all, my umbrella was in the car, so I had to come through the rain to get to the car. <laughs> On freshly pressed natural hair. Oh my gosh. So anywho, y'all, so it's 7-12. We said we were gonna meet at seven. So he texted me saying he was running late. Um, he's running a little behind. Okay, give me my personal space back. Um, he said he was running a little behind. So I was like, okay, cool, me too. But when I said this, like my makeup was done, like my hairpins was out. I was literally just trying to figure out what shoes I was gonna wear and what purse I was gonna take. this side that was going to be the bad side but it's this side that's the bad side today look at her she's still flourishing literally she's trying to flourish figuratively oh man i hate when that happens anywho um so i was like yeah no worries like i'm running late too so for me, like I was already about to be out of the house in like five minutes, under 10 minutes for sure. So he was like, no worries. Do you just want me to let you know when I'm on the way? Um, he said, no problem, take your time. You want me to just let you know when I'm on the way? This was at 7.07. .07. I said I'm on the way, cause literally I was in the car on the way trying to put in my GPS. Um, so I'm sharing my ETA with him. What time did you really expect to get there, sir? We're both already running late. Like, I'm not, you know, the one to want to hold you up even later. But clearly, you are this person. This is just very interesting, y'all. We gonna see how this turns out. When I get to my next red light, I'm gonna ask him what's his ETA. Cause you got me messed up. If you think I'm gonna be the one leaning on you that long, okay? He said the parking there isn't bad, so I guess I'll probably just go to the restaurant and park. because I plan to be on time um because I'm not that far from it maybe like 15 minutes um so I was like you know just let me jump on the highway and just get off the nearest exit but GPS took me the streetway anyway so that just tells me something is going on on the highway so I don't mind um so I'll be there in 13 minutes on me. I'm already getting over a cold. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I already see I'm going to get there before him. So, I will see y'all when I get there. I'm going to have a little car concert really quickly. Okay. I'm here in the area and now I'm just trying to find it. I don't see it. Eclipse Day Luna restaurant. Hopefully. Okay, let's just start right here. Oh, maybe it's back here. You guys. Okay, so this is like the most casual I think I've ever dressed 
um, for a date. And I want to say casual, but like this dress is short enough to show my thigh tattoo. So I feel like this isn't planet safe. And I just don't know like what this restaurant is going to give. But I just thought about that thankfully um, I have a blazer right here in my car. So if I need to throw on the blazer, I can. And it'll still be a cute look. And it'll dress up the short dress. And being that it doesn't have any sleeves, you know what? <clears throat> I think I'm just going to do that anyway. It's just on the blazer. And it has these gold buttons. And all of my um, accents are gold anyway. It's a navy blazer. With the gold buttons. And this is the purse I'm carrying. <clears throat> is this electric... Give me my purse. Oh, yeah. The audience is giving put on the blazer. Um, this electric blue Michael Kors. And it has the gold hardware. My jewelry is gold. Um, yeah, so that's exactly... That's what we're going to do. The wind is blowing really hard. And look like it's going to pour down like at any moment. So let me call this man. Because it's 7.30. He's not going to answer because I feel like he's that late. Hello? Hey. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Good, good. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I am on the way. Um, of course, uh, I'm front a little behind. You don't sound bag. like you're in the car, Daryl. No, of course. Yes, I am in the car. I am in the car. I'm on the way. What's your ETA? My ETA is gonna be 20 minutes. Ay ay ay. Oh, I know, right? I know. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll wait for you. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Okay, see you when you get here. All right, see you later. All right, bye. Bye. Okay. Y'all, this man should not have been out at 4.30 if he knew he couldn't make his next seat, okay? Because that's what I'm waiting 20 minutes. You know what? That's why you, you're always late just in case. But usually, like, guys are not this late. So, honey, um... He better be looking 20 minutes late. Anyways. Bye, y'all. I'll check back in with y'all later. <laughs> finally got a roster. Finally out playing. Where are you? Because you don't sound like you're at work. I'm at, a, I'm at a birthday party. Oh, okay. But, um... You know, I'm here. Jose's there if you want to call Jose. Mm-mm. You know he's not my cup of tea. He's he's not my type of fun. Mm-mm. Right. <laughs> Have you ever been to Eclipse de Luna? No, but it sounds familiar. Yeah, there's one in Buckhead and there's one in Dunwoody. It looks like a cute little vibe. I'm people watching and giving the audience that's going inside. I think this might be a cute little place for us. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I knew it was tapas. It's tapas and cocktails. Where about that? <laughs> but no, um, um, I'm just here chilling, and please be safe in your day. I will. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, baby. I'm gonna <laughs> let you go because I'm gonna go get drunk, and then I want somebody to pick up my clothes. So. Oh, I hear that. Yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> 
I'm gonna say that again. I'm gonna go get drunk and I'm gonna have sex without my clothes. I love you too. Bye. Y'all, that man did not sound like he was in a car. Oh, I of course I am. No, you were not.